trying not to, uh, oh, he just ate the wall in his, uh, oh, well, he did Mustang things. Let's go! your energy innovation product needs make sure you check out driveenergy.com that's d-r-i-v-e energy.com what's up everybody i'm evil rabbit and we are here on a set of corsa loading into north Schleiven online session with the nissan gtr nismo r35 so we're gonna go rip the nuremberg ring hopefully we got some guys we can uh kind of kind of uh tail or race with on the ring so i had a lot of fun doing this last time and you guys seem to like the aceto content so we're bringing more aceto content to the channel today we're gonna be ripping the, the nuremberg ring in this gtr nismo and uh we're gonna see if we can't put down a good time maybe have a little fun with some of these guys in the online sesh but before we do that we're gonna have a sip of our coffee in our uh, you know first order mug you guys have seen this before on other videos Doing a lot of early morning recording recently because I am out of town. So uh, getting all this stuff done for you guys. So there's content all week. And, um, well, we're about to be in uh, Norschleiven. So we're going to finish off our coffee, get our gloves on, and uh, get ready to rip this thing. We are on our G920 full 900 degrees of rotation 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel if you didn't know already hydraulic cam brake which we won't be using and sequential shifter which we will be using so phone going off as always and uh whoa. this looks like it's gonna be fun gotta go this way to get to Norschleiven can't tell where everybody else is. We may just be running this one by ourselves right now. Little little cruise out to North Sliven course. Gotta make sure we uh, you know, tap our little uh, tap our little uh, card to get onto the track. Since we are rocking the GTR, we will not need uh, our clutch for today because it is sequential. So let's see what we can do with this car. Definitely sounds good. And I love the interior view of these cars. Working uh, working boost gauge. One thing definitely the best about a set of... Oh, we're already wrecking our car. This thing gets really tail happy apparently. Well, not what I expected on the GTR off the get-go. So we're going to have to make sure we uh, are easy on throttle. We got a guy coming up behind us, so we're going to cruise a little bit. Let him catch up. Just listen to those backfires. I'm sure he'll actually catch up to us because I'm sure we will be a little bit slower than he is. Not sure what car he's rocking, but... Try and take this easy so we don't wreck again. Because uh, we've already wrecked our GTR. Oh my. So the GTR gets very uh, tail happy under braking. So um, we're already just making a fool of ourselves here on Nuremberg. We have to take this nice and smooth and slow because this thing does not have the grip like I thought it was going to. We can't downshift what I want. Yeah, this thing does not grip at all. This is gonna be one uh, one heck of a run. For sure. Hopefully we can actually uh, not wreck every corner. This car is very skatey. Kind of very, uh, very scary, actually. I've driven one of these cars in real life and uh, <laughs> didn't push it as hard as I'm pushing it in the game. So 
Not sure if the real car is a skatey. We definitely uh, gently using ourselves into these turns. Brakes are not as good as I had hoped. Restart current session. I feel like uh, probably a good thing. Trying to just uh, stay as smooth as we can. Is it going to reset us? Nope. We're good. We are staying ahead of this guy. I'm very curious what car he's in. Oh my gosh. What kind of settings we got changed? Try to control level 3. That might help. So if you guys do play Assetto and you've driven this car, is it is it this skatey? Because uh, I feel like this car is really skatey. I'm breaking. I'm going to wreck. Yep. And there it is. Well. No wonder nobody drove this car or nobody picked this car because, uh, well, this car is definitely a handful. And we have, you know, ABS and everything too. It's just this car is uh, very, uh, very tail happy under braking. But Assetto, definitely a different monster. Because if you've driven a GTR in, like, say, Forza Motorsports, it's, uh, it's tail happy, but it's easy to correct. This one, not so much. I feel like I'm going a lot slower than I should be, but the tires are not gripping as good. If you've noticed and you can hear what I'm, you know, coming through some of these sections, I'm just losing front grip. So I am kind of overdriving the car, which is uh, very disconcerting because it doesn't seem like we're really uh, driving that hard of a part of a line. But I mean, I guess we are pretty uh, pretty high in the speed band. I never realized that we're this car actually celebrates damn quick for being a Nismo. Trying to pedal our way through here so we don't lose it. Ooh. Easy through this section. Don't want to go off course. We are actually catching back up to him. I believe he's in a Mercedes, so. I try not wreck this car high speed because then we pretty much write this car off. I mean, we've already pretty much written this car off. There it is. Ugh. Man, I thought I was catching him. But then, of course, the, uh, the rumble strip got me. This car does not like rumble strips. The car sounds amazing. It's just not uh, as well of a handling car as I'd hoped. Ooh. I'm going to probably try and uh, switch up to another car after this one. Come back into this session, though. I think he wrecked. Went back to pits. So, this is a GTR. I like how his gloves are the same color as mine. GTR, not the uh, best handling car I've driven so far. But, uh, just goes to show you that uh, the difference in uh, physics between Forza and Assetto. I like one of the comments, somebody commented on the last Assetto video, welcome to the man world. <laughs> because this is not for the faint of heart. And, yep. Yeah. Would like to finish this lap up, but I think we're going to switch to another car. 360 for style. Ooh. 
This thing sounds insane outside. Too bad the uh, third person camera is not as good as some of the other games. Third person camera is kind of weird. But we're gonna rip it for a minute. I feel like it backfires more inside the car than it does out here. Am I driving better in third person? That would be weird. I don't know why. I feel like I'm driving better in third person right now. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm driving better in third person. That's actually very sad. I wonder if it's because I can actually like see the turns up ahead, and I'm actually braking at like the right points. Maybe I'm not overdriving the car in this view. Huh? That's weird. Interesting. I know we have to stop here. So, the GTR, definitely not an easy car to drive. Alright, so we're gonna switch up cars in this session. Lotus Evora. And go back to first person. Got an R8 chilling up there. Looks like we got some guy waiting to go on to Norschleiven. Or he just was waiting and now he's gone. So we're gonna try and not wreck this Evora. It's definitely fun to drive all these different cars at Norse Levin. We're just gonna see how this works. Because, uh, well, looks like that guy may have written off his car already and decided to restart. Try and take this easy. Well, as easy as we can. Your brakes are a little bit better on this Evora. Than that GTR. Probably because it's like half the weight. So, I do like the handling of the Savora right now. We have not written off the car on the first turn. So that's perfect. That's We've uh, accomplished something so far. We haven't written off the car, we haven't wrecked it yet. Which is a good good starting point for us here in the Lotus. Don't touch the grass though. Grass is probably what will kill me. I'm so used to just running rumble strips from like other racing games, but this game rumble strips uh they hurt. Ooh, little tail. Little tail happy. Able to save the car though, so. Whew. That was a. Uh, if this was real, that would have been a very big pucker up moment, especially in an Evora. Been one of those oh god moments. Trying not to. Uh, oh, he just ate the wall in his. Uh, oh well, he did Mustang things. I'm gonna pass him. He did Mustang things, went into the wall, and uh, say bye bye Mustang. But you know, that's usually where Mustangs are either in the wall or in other cars. Oh, as I say that, I just completely wrecked the car and he wrecked into me. Oh man, that is a big wreck. 
Oh, my steering is so messed up. I feel like he just decided to uh, stop right there. Should have uh, anticipated the car would have gotten tail happy through that section, but uh, I did not. So sadly, that's we're two for two on cars today. We've uh, wrecked the GTR, and now we've wrecked the Avora. We got wrecked into by a Mustang, which really hurt. Luckily, my hands weren't really in the wheel enough to uh, where it hurt my hands. But, uh, so Assetto, definitely a huge change of pace when it comes to driving. So, I'm thinking about doing some uh, live Assetto either here on Norschleiven or the drift track. Just doing some live uh, live chill and cruise or drift sessions. If you guys want to be a part of that and you have Assetto on the Xbox, let me know down in the comment section down below. If that would be something you'd like to do, would you rather do the drift park or like a cruise here at Norschleiven because uh, probably one of my favorite things to do is just drive this track in all these different cars. Ooh. But I feel like I should, I want to get some expansions now so that I can uh, play with other cars in the game because getting a little more into this game now than I have been before, unfortunately. Ooh, I don't have any of the expansions. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode here on Assetto. I've written off two cars, so what more can I do today? So, you guys know follow me on Instagram, which is found in the description box below for any information and updates, as well as tap that like button and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming back. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. And so are all these cars. Get wrecked.